What did he say his name was? Gabatron. Hello, everyone. I am Gabatron, and we are going to do a flyover of the new Mortain map from uh, the perspective of the admin cam and get a good feel of what's in store once this map gets released. Couple things before we start. First, uh, it's French, so I think it's actually pronounced something like Mortain or Mortain, uh, something like that. But I'll just be saying Mortain, uh, you know, just because I'm sure that's what we'll end up. Uh, it'll end up being called by the majority of the community anyway. Second, uh, this footage is from the PTE, and Mortain is still a work in progress. The devs are actively gathering feedback as we speak, so we could see some changes uh, before the final map is released. Third, is that Team 17 was kind enough to allow some of us access to the admin cam specifically to help us assess this map and to give our viewers a different perspective. So give them some props uh, as this is a first. Okay, we're going to start at the northeast right here at the top German HQ. We'll head west, then move south a bit, come back across the middle, and finish with a look across the south of the map. All right, so let's take off moving west, and you can see a lot of buildings back here. Uh, I don't, I don't know how much fighting we're gonna see back in the German HQ here, but there are some more buildings up here a little further on both sides of the road, and you'll probably see more fighting here. Um, some interesting buildings there. As we move along, uh, you'll notice there's a lot of like terrain features, like potholes and impact craters through here as we come up to the destroyed German convoy. Uh, let's get a little higher look and look at both sides here and see uh, where we are in the map. Towards the left, you know, we have a lot of open ground and on the right we have a lot of open ground. But it's probably going to be tough to cross these open areas because, you know, there's trees on both sides of these open areas. Let's continue west more and then we come up to some structures here. Uh, some sort of farm. Definitely going to be a hot spot. Then we come up to some trench works here on both sides. Something I noticed in this map is there are a lot of trench works in these forested areas, but the trenches themselves uh, are in clearings. So it'll be, you know, so it'll be just as important to hold the tree lines as it will be to hold the trenches. Continuing west, if we turn to the north, you'll notice a really big change in elevation here. Uh, with that cliff face so there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening here and then to the south we have some more scattered buildings heading back west we're getting towards some of the more urban areas uh, here we're just going to come across some more buildings on the outskirts of town uh, more forested areas before we get into the actual city So we can see a lot of buildings here mostly intact. There are some destroyed buildings mixed in, uh, like this area here, you know, is completely destroyed. We have a massive church, uh, of course, just getting a look at the city here itself. Uh, we'll come back and look at this more in depth a little later. So we're going to move down towards the medical aid station now and get kind of a good look at what's going on here. Uh, if we take this south out of the city, uh, southeast, you know, buildings along the road are intact, some destroyed. Okay, we're coming up to the medical area here. You'll notice a lot of tents. Uh, it's a clearing, but you're going to have to be inside that clearing to control it. But you're also going to want to, you know, again, control the tree line around it and the area around it. But it is uh, an interesting point nonetheless. Some rock faces and elevation changes here too. Uh, now you can see the map climbs upward as we go further east. Uh, here, more scattered buildings, uh, more clearings. So, um, 
you know, with trees surrounding it, more medical tents and stuff like that. Uh, new assets, which is interesting. Uh, now we're going to come up on the church at the center of the map, and this is probably the highest in terms of elevation, um, the highest point in the entire map. And it's probably going to be an important place to hold in some fashion, whether it's a strong point or not. Here we take a good look at the church, and something you'll notice, uh, maybe you've even noticed it already as we're looking at it, is that there is no open door. And we'll talk more about this a little later, but moving further along, uh, we get into pretty heavily forested areas that remind me a lot of Hill 400, and Hill 400 is tough fighting. You know, that mix of heavy tree cover, heavy forested areas with elevation. But there are some clearings, uh, some clearing areas, you know, and here we come up to a German recon camp, which is an interesting little area. Once again here, you're not just going to want to hold these buildings and these trenches. You're going to want to hold, you know, you're going to want a presence in the trees as well. And moving along, we have more trenches and you're going to want to, you know, move around getting from point A to point B in all these trenches that are throughout this forested area. Continuing back east, we're back in the German HQ, uh, their center HQ. Now let's, uh, let's look at the southern part of the map. We'll get up really high here and kind of get a good look. And something you'll start noticing here is that a lot of what I think are rendering issues with uh, trees and foliage right here, like, like right here, you can see the church uh, just clear as day, even though it's surrounded by trees in, in reality. Just nothing's rendering it. I know I'm a long ways away here, and other maps, this isn't necessarily the case. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later too, but here we're coming in on the farm. Uh, this is a good looking area here. There's some trees and there's buildings or, so, you know, some open fields and stuff. It looks like this will be an interesting place to fight over in my opinion. But as we move along here, here's another little area that might be fun. You know, some fun scattered buildings along the roadway here. But a lot of this is trees as we continue our way west. And there's and there's just, you know, other than trees in the roadway and the occasional building next to the roadway, there really just isn't a whole lot in the southern part of the map that's very interesting. There's some stuff over here, but, but just, you know, not a whole lot. Nothing too important, nothing too interesting. And I think you get a, you know, if you end up getting a match with all the strong points along the southern part i think it just might be you know a little on the boring side we're not even as far south as we could be here and there's even less further south to look at And here we're kind of we're kind of coming up to the southernmost U.S. HQ. So that's a quick you know overlook kind of overview of the entire map. And obviously we didn't cover every square inch, but there is a lot of interesting stuff here. A lot of elevation changes, some new assets, a lot of forest, but with a fair amount of clearings inside, uh, especially in those strong points. So like I said, it'll be just as important to hold the trees as it will be, you know, to hold the clearings inside of them. So I think there will be, you know, some interesting fighting going on here, especially infantry fighting, as I think armor will struggle here more than on some other maps. 
you know, not as much as, say, on Hill 400, but more than the last few maps they've released, like, you know, El Alamein. So that was a quick overview. Now let's look at some places a little more closely. All right, let's go to that church at the center of the map and get a better look at, at that and how that might play out. So there's a lot of terrain going on around here, a lot of rocks, but one thing I really wanted to show everyone is how you cannot enter this church, at least in the PTE. You cannot enter this church, no way to get in. I don't know about getting on top of it or anything like that. Um, so maybe this rock formation is where, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious that, that people are going to be there, but it might be some place you want something, some presence you're gonna wanna hold that area. Speaking of open buildings, it is kind of a problem I have with this map. Let's go back over here uh, to the large church in the middle of the urban area. You'll notice here again, there is no way to enter this church. You can fight around it, uh, but you know that there's some cover here around it and stuff like that. And you might want to hold it for some reason, uh, but actually, I'm struggling a little with the camera here, but actually entering the church is not something you can do, which is a little disappointing. As a matter of fact, let's look at let's look at all these buildings, uh, these buildings right here. You can't get in, you know, you can't get in like any of them. You know, here's a shut door all the way around, shut door. Even these little barns over here. These little sheds or whatever you want to call them. Looks like these buildings here are all closed up. There's a lot of damaged buildings around here. Uh, you know you're going to be in and amongst that in this area, but actually getting into a building getting a little bit of elevation in this area might be difficult. Like all these buildings here, you know, they're all closed up and, and this one is open. So there's one and it, and it looks like you'll be able to look down the street. So th this is a good one to have open. Uh, let's get a good look from inside. You can see down the street the whole way, uh, which is good. Um, but down the backside here, you know, all, all these are shut from the backside too. So it's not just the front side. So that one house is good. You know, you're going to want to be in there. You're going to want to hold that one. Uh, all these buildings here are also closed up. These ones here a little further east. Uh, uh, this one here, you know, you can see back towards the church. Uh, but you know, you, as you can see down the street there, a little to the west, so that's, that's good, you know, even though it's limited. On this side of the building, it's a little bit what you can see. Uh, so this, I don't know, you know, this house is of limited value in my opinion. So just very few open buildings and the ones that are open, uh, you know, at least one of the two I thought was really good. Um, one's kind of questionable these buildings over here you know they're all closed up you know i'm not sure why these are all closed up I, I, you know maybe there's a reason but there has been a lot of feedback already about these closed buildings about you know people wanting them to open more up and it does seem like here's another open one it does seem like the developers recognize that there does need to be some more open buildings. Um, you know, like, like this here. Uh, I just feel like this is, 
you know, this is of limited value to having this house be open, at, at least from a firing lane perspective. Maybe like, you know, you want to hold the ground floor because people will be able to get through, um, you know, through this area more easily through the building. But as far as getting a good firing lane down the street or something, it's just not really, not really, not really good. Not really a good building to hold. Another thing I don't really like is how you'll notice here that there's like a destroyed building right next to a building that looks like a brand new building. I think it's a little weird. It'd be nice, you know, if there was some partial damage to one building, you know, the one that's right next to the completely destroyed one. You know, you see all these buildings here shut. This building here is open, overlooking the square. Uh, but again, limited sight lines here. Anyway, as I was saying, the developers have already kind of communicated to us that, you know, they do understand that the feedback they are, are getting uh, about the open buildings is something that they're taking seriously and they're going to look into it, uh, which is all you can really ask at this point. So we might see more open buildings in the future. They might open some of these up uh, when they release it. Uh, even if it's not at release, maybe they'll make some changes later, you know, in an update or some patches or something like that. Uh, so, at least right now, I do have a problem with the amount of open buildings. They need to open more of those up. Uh, I also think it would be nice if they kind of gave some partial damage to some of these nicer buildings. It's nitpicky, but I think it would, you know, go a long way to making it just look a little more real, I guess. Let's move over here and get a closer look at these medical tents. Uh, a lot of cover around here, so not much to hide in here from. I don't know if you can place OPs or garrisons inside here. Um, my guess is you can probably at least place, you know, an OP. Maybe a garrison in this one. I don't know. I didn't get a real, you know, I didn't really play a whole lot. I just mostly did this admin cam stuff. I also don't know if the tents, you know, if bullets... Can penetrate the tents or if it's uh, if it's going to be like a hard you know material but they are new assets let's get a closer look at this recon area that uh, that guy's got the right idea right there in the tower but uh, here you can see as we get up here you'll notice a lot of these trees, uh, like there's some rendering issues. Like I think that on other maps, if you get, you know, if you get this far away, the trees don't disappear. So I wonder if during regular gameplay, you know, if is our sniper going to struggle or, or, or rather, is it going to be hard to hide from snipers? You know, if, if like bushes and trees are just not going to render. So I'm moving back down to the south here. You'll see a lot more of these buildings just are closed up. Uh, here we have an open garage there, but everything's, you know, everything's just closed up. The buildings all look great, and I think the map looks really good. I think we just need some more open buildings. There's a bunch of stuff scattered about, you know, military hardware scattered about. Uh, you know, like, Hell Let Loose maps here are just... Uh, here we have an open building. Hell Let Loose maps just look... They look so much better than a lot of other games. You know what I mean? Like, Squad 44 is a great game. I really like it, and their maps look good too. It's just that these Hell Let Loose maps, they're, they're just on a whole different level. Let's get really high up here and look everything. Uh, here's some of the issues I have with some of the rendering issues. Hopefully they can get it fixed. Uh, I think they just need to open up some of the buildings. I think there needs to be more features along the southern side of the map. Even if it's just, uh, you know, like how on the north side of the map there's that German convoy that's destroyed. And... Um, you know, like the, the impact craters and stuff like that. Maybe give us some stuff like that down here south. Make it look like there was a big, some destroyed hulls from like a big armor or mechanized battle that took place along the southern road or something like that. You know, let, let players hopscotch or leapfrog from 
impact crater to burned out half track to impact crater, something like that along the south here. More rendering issues again. Uh, we can get a look, good look at that cliff face and how it overlooks this trench area. You know, I don't know. I'm excited to see the changes that they'll make uh, based on the feedback that they're going to get. Uh, this north side of the map here, you know, moving from east to west, from west to east along the whole north side, I think is extremely interesting. There's some interesting stuff in the center too, uh, so I'm really looking forward to what they're gonna what they're gonna do, what changes they're gonna make, if any, and uh, how the games are gonna play out in this map. Seems like a good mix of things. Uh, there's some good things like elevation and trees, but it's not like so much trees like on Hill 400, where all of the fighting in the map is just you know people sitting still in the forest and picking each other off. This, this map's going to get a lot more movement, I think. It's going to be fun to watch, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play. What are you guys thinking? Make sure to let us all know down in the comments. As usual, check the description for ways to help out Gabatron Gaming. Remember to subscribe, you know, like the video to help me beat that algorithm. Uh, I think that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.